Carl's Jacob is arguably one of the most brand friendly Twitch streamers on the website. So a couple of his fans were surprised to find out that he previously associated with a streamer who's known for being one of the least brand friendly. This person is Ice Poseidon. This first came to light when Femi Fairy tweeted out, Here's a picture of Carl Jacobs with a racist streamer, Ice Poseidon, which Carl has said he was a big fan of. The streamer would have raids where he would have his fans call black people racial slurs. Someone said Carl participated in them, but no one is sure. But since Carl was a big fan, it wouldn't be surprising. I don't even want Carl to address this. What is there to be addressed? He was a big fan of an openly racist person. What more is there to add? And Carl still follows him. And here's Carl interacting with him. She then shows this video. Liberal, I have a Hillary flag on me. Roger, I was just like, he's up here. Oh, of course, okay. No, I'm just saying, uh, We're good? Just double checking. Yeah, okay, yeah, no worries about that, man. Thank you for your time. Sorry about the inconvenience. That's all right, I just have to double check. Yeah, of course, dude. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Have a good one. So is that, that's not the bus? That's the bus, we're taking the map. All right. I'll just, I'll just walk you to it. Yeah, yeah, that'll work, dude. I'll take the public transportation to meet the real people of Oregon. I'll take Uber drivers to pretend that they, they live here, but they come from Seattle. So why is there so many homeless people in the city? This place is beautiful, so it's whatever. You said it was like right here, you said? Yeah, do you see those like little... All right, that's it, so we'll get the next one. Wait, why not this one? Some more people on Twitter spoke out against Carl Jacobs. Ken says, Carl Jacobs, we need to talk, because I can't let this be swept under the rug. Now, I know many others have been talking about you previously supporting a streamer named Ice Poseidon, who has done extremely disrespectful and hurtful things to the black community. And I want to tell you why this is very concerning for us black people. Knowing that Ice has raided black streamers and sent his chat to say racial slurs in their chat, he's antagonized black people to get a reaction out of them, to later call the police expecting them to get harmed and overall knowing that he's a racist white supremacist. Makes it seem like you supported all of these disgusting actions. Now I can't say you still support him, but you need to know that even if you supported him in the past, it speaks volumes now and at this point it makes me angry knowing you haven't even explained much on the situation. I can't speak for all black people in the community, but I know I will say that this isn't acceptable. Maybe you can address this whole thing more in depth so we can have a better understanding of the situation, but overall it just hurts. Now I'm not cancelling Carl, I just want him to address this knowing that this whole situation is generally very fucked up on so many levels. Also, I don't care if I'm overreacting over this, since I have every right to feel the way I feel. Now, Carl Jacobs does address this, but before he does, Ice Poseidon addresses the backlash Carl Jacobs is getting on Twitter. He says, I got did dirty. I'm sorry for being the streamer everyone watched. 2017 to 2018 was a different time, and edginess was perceived differently. I'm so tired of getting thrown under the bus though. I've done my dues, and I've changed for the better. It's been years! Judge someone for the present not the past. Refusing to let people change is terrible, because we've all been young and dumb before. Humans ain't perfect, so stop pretending like they are. Also, to you Minecraft stands, everyone was edgy back in 2017, 2018. You just weren't born yet. Also, to all streamers, if you allow your fans to dictate your life, or how you should think, and who you should fucking follow on Twitter, then it won't end well. Trust me, I used to let my fans dictate my entire life, and it didn't go well. Be your own person, everyone. He then shows a picture of him and Mr. Beast and says, I've been in cahoots with every content creator on every platform. Get ready to cancel all of them. We're going back to television, boys. Wait till you see my photo with Dream that one time we met at McDonald's. Ice Poseidon then makes a Twitter thread of him with a bunch of other YouTubers. And then he says, Posting a pic of Dream in 10 minutes. Time for the final Infinity Stone. I was going to post a pic of Dream, but never mind. I've been doxxed and harassed more than I have in years. So the Minecraft stands don't deserve it. To content creators, be careful associating with people who have these stands as their fans. Very toxic. Anyways, after all of this backlash, Carl Jacobs decided to address the situation on his live stream. Here is what he said. So there's threads going out there that I'm, I've associated with a streamer, a prominent streamer that is currently known for a lot of bad stuff like racism, any phobia you could think of. And I just want to make it clear a million percent. I don't condone anything they've done. I don't know. I'm sorry that I've made anybody feel uncomfortable because I understand that, you know, I, I went stream sniping and uh, I just wanted to address that and say like, I am sorry that I've upset people, I guess. For context, I've always been a massive fan of Twitch, right? And I've always wanted to be a Twitch streamer. It's just been my passion. I was never a massive fan, but I I guess I did actively support bad content creators at one point, and I am sorry. I do want to address really quick. There, There's chat logs of me coming out saying that I have recently been in the streamer that they're talking about chat, spamming like tryhard7, stuff like that. I just want to 
make it clear that I've never once used tryhard in a way where it was meant to be racist. Just for context, back in early Twitch, what we now know is like 07 is what people used to do as tryhard7. It was kind of like a salute to when you joined a stream. And I know that there's racial connotations attached to it now. I just want to make it clear that I've never advocated for racism, anything like that. It's just not me. And I know I can just say that, but I promise I'll like make that clear if that makes sense. And again, I'm not making any excuses. I know that I made people uncomfortable and I am genuinely sorry. I'm not making excuses. I'm just trying to give context, okay? And one more thing I wanted to give context for, there's a clip going around uh, discussing anti-Semitism, which is something I'm very not okay with. I know that there was a Jackbox joke that went around a, a long time ago. Genuinely, the second it came out, I was genuinely sorry about that. But I want to talk about a clip that came out recently on Mizkif's stream, where I said that I was spamming CX in his chat. I said probably because somebody in a video game had a big nose. And I think people associated that with anti-Semitism. But in, in reality, um, in early Twitch, the meme was like, Ice Poseidon has a big nose. So people just made fun of him for having a big nose. It wasn't coming towards anti-Semitism, if that makes sense, or anything racially charged at all. Yeah, Ice Poseidon's not Jewish or anything like that. It wasn't meant to be anything like that. Yeah, I guess at the end, at the end of the day, I, I am sorry if I offended anybody because I promise it wasn't my intention. i not just sorry if I offended anybody, I am just sorry, right? After Carl Jacobs does his apology stream, Keemstar reacts to it on Twitter in this video titled, Defending Ice Poseidon and Calling Out Carl Jacobs. Do you know Carl from the Mr. Beast videos? Well, Carl has went off to make his own career and he's been wildly successful. Millions and millions of fans. And yesterday, Carl got canceled by his own community. They were basically saying that Carl is a racist because he supported a racist. He su supported someone that was homophobic. Who are we talking about? Who did Carl support? Ice Poseidon. Yeah, back in the day, Ice Poseidon, in real life streamer, very toxic community, toxic jokes, uh, racist, homophobic jokes, whatever. Uh, Carl stream sniped him. Carl showed up on one of Ice Poseidon's streams. Carl was a fan of Ice Poseidon. So yesterday, Carl's fans were like, how could you support a racist? How could you support a homophobic? You know, how could you support Ice Poseidon? Carl, you're canceled. Carl uploads an apology video where he was like distancing himself from uh, Ice Poseidon saying, I don't really support bad streamers anymore. And I wasn't really that much of a fan. And I know I stream sniped him, but I wasn't really that much of a fan and blah, blah, blah. What Carl should have said is... Um, you know, I was a fan of that stuff and I'm no longer a fan because that would have been the truth. But what I don't like is that Carl had a platform of millions of people and he could have told his audience that Ice Poseidon has changed. That's right. Ice Poseidon two years ago decided I am in a toxic community and a toxic environment. I am done with this toxic stuff. I'm going to go be a good boy streamer. That's what he did. And Ice Poseidon risked that. He risked his whole career based on being a good guy, knowing that he would lose almost all of his fans, which he did. And and, and, and the, over the last two years, Ice Poseidon hasn't done anything edgy whatsoever. I'm so sick of us as a community not acknowledging those that change for the better, right? It, 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 it just, it, it makes me so angry. Carl is sitting here trying to, I want nothing to do with Ice Poseidon so it so he doesn't lose his career, so it doesn't damage his career. Ice Poseidon gave up his career to be a good guy. And, he, and Ice Poseidon doesn't give any praise? Like, come on. Like, I, I just, I, I want to say I'm really disappointed in you. Ice Poseidon responds to Keem by saying, Thanks, Keem. I was really upset getting thrown under the bus in front of 100k viewers. For no reason other than I was nice enough to take a picture with Carl, lol, before he was famous. Immature and spineless in my opinion. By the way, I still have a career on YouTube laughing my ass off. So about a day after all of this happened, Carl's Jacob decides to make another apology, but this time as a twit longer. It's titled, Addressing Concerns. After my stream the other day, I felt I wasn't able to express how I felt correctly, and that wasn't the best format for me to respond in. So I want to make a formal apology here, where I can more explicitly express myself in an organized format. That way I can make sure that I say things the right way. Since then I have taken time to educate myself, and do my best to hear people's concerns. Recently, some people have come forward with discomfort about me being in a stream with an old Twitch streamer 
Ice Poseidon from a few years ago. This is a completely justified concern, because Ice Poseidon made very controversial, offensive, and all types of content that I absolutely don't support. Ice Poseidon for a long time was one of the largest people on Twitch, and back then, I was genuinely someone that looked at Twitch as my clear passion in life, so I followed and watched everyone that was at the top of Twitch. I know that a lot of them definitely weren't good people, or aren't now, and I should have been more cautious of that in the past. I understand that this is absolutely a place of privilege, which is something that I have actively learned from. Just to explain how I ended up on his stream, he was doing an IRL stream in my city when I lived there, and when I had the ability to show up on one of the biggest streamer's streams at that point, I decided to show up where he was streaming uninvited. I do sincerely apologize, as I have for a while now understood that this could be viewed as an endorsement. I don't endorse any of his actions, and I stopped watching his content a long time ago. I'm extremely sorry to anyone that heard that we had met and was impacted in a negative way. I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable in this community, or to have doubts on who I am as a person. I also want to talk about a clip of me on Miskiff's stream, explaining why I had been seen in Miskiff's chat log saying is CX, a reference to Ice Poseidon, much more recently than any time I had ever watched Ice Poseidon's content. In this clip, I explained that I was probably typing it in a way to reference when a video game character on the screen had a large nose. When Ice Poseidon used to be one of the biggest streamers, other streamers jokingly picked on him for having a larger nose. I didn't realize this could come across in any way as racially charged, or charged with any form of anti-semitism, as I just used it as a joke about Ice Poseidon. I have been educated recently on why this could be hurtful to Jewish people, and that was never at all my intention, so I am very sorry. I mostly want to get across that I am genuinely sorry to anyone I have affected. I know that it is important to lead anyone that follows me as a mascot of positivity and comfort, and part of that is acknowledging when I make mistakes and apologizing for them. I promise to show change beyond just exclaiming that I won't let things like this happen again, because I want everyone to feel comfortable being part of this community, as you all do genuinely mean a lot to me. Love you guys. Thank you for hearing me out. I am genuinely sorry. Carl. Now after all of that, you would assume the response to something like that would be extremely positive. And there were a couple content creators like Miskiff and Nikolol who responded positively, but fans and other content creators were mostly just confused. For example, Waddle's response to Carl by saying, I can't believe you have to make a statement like this because you used to support a streamer a few years ago that has a controversial past. How can people judge someone based on that? Bunch of piss babies are only mad about this shit. Overreact over everything. It's fucking weird how people try to twist a joke about Ice Poseidon's massive ass nose into something that's racially charged. The fuck is wrong with motherfuckers? Ronaldo says, Can anyone explain to me he's getting cancelled for saying CX like six years ago? Frosty quote tweets Carl and says, Motherfuckers are apologizing for being a fan of a streamer five years ago. Twitch is done for. Dear content creators, I know money and attention we never got at home is nice, but you're gonna drive yourself insane trying to cater to people half your age. Just act like human beings for fuck's sake. Justin Wang responds to Frosty by saying, I like to better when he just replied to every popular person's tweet telling them their tweet was good. JD Awesome 23 responds to Frosty by saying, It's sad to see Carl just folding like this. At one point these creators need to stand up for themselves, or online content in general is going to be completely ruined. Frosty responds, They can't stand up for themselves because their fans run them. If they stand up, they lose everything. CDSZN responds to Frosty by saying, Motherfucker's gonna be apologizing for being a GG Frosty fan in 5 years. Frosty responds, That's goals as fuck. Jake Lucky responds to Frosty by saying, Really confused why it happened in the first place. Are some of his stands that concerned that Carl is somehow a bad person for this? Frosty responds, Yes. He is racist, homophobic, sexist, and xenophobic because he used to watch Ice Poseidon when he was 16. Speaking of Jake Lucky, he makes a tweet of his own about this that says, The Carl's Jacobs fans, who somehow got the kid to apologize for being a fan of a Twitch streamer, who then eventually became controversial, are the real problem with this community. Tropical1k responds by saying, Sorry Jake, but you cheated on a math test in 5th grade. For this action, you will be blacklisted from esports reporting, and barred from entering any future event. Jake Lucky responds, How the fuck you know I did that? They gonna take away my grade school degree, man. Ice Poseidon responds to Jake by saying, Carl sniped me peak VR2, lol. What do you mean, Jake? Jake responds, Gonna be honest, I don't know about all your controversies, but I do agree Carl apologizing like this makes you look worse. Can't imagine all of his fans that are also going after you. Messy freaking situation all around. It's just 
weird to watch. Ice responds, of course it makes me look worse. That was the entire point, Jake. He sniped me when my content was peak toxicity, then put all the blame on me when he condoned it, along with everyone else in the streaming world too. I'm not this evil villain and I'm tired of it. I'm a person too. Ice then elaborates by making some tweets of his own that say, so Carl is causing a witch hunt against me in front of millions of people because he hung out with me on a YouTube stream when he was a fan, yet I'm still banned on Twitch, lol. I can't believe he doubled down on this. Carl, here's some advice because you're young. Carl Jacobs, you are letting your fans who do not have your best interests shame you into apologizing for something you shouldn't have to apologize for, whilst indirectly causing a witch hunt. I remember you said you looked up to me, so can you at least do me the favor and be a man? I went through the same shit. Heed my advice, or your toxic fans will continue to push the boundaries until it's too late. It happened to me! If there's anyone you owe an apology, it's me for the emotional harm you and your viewers are causing me. For no reason! With all that said, I'm not a bad person. In fact, I have done a lot of good in this industry. Probably inspired your favorite streamer. Who knows? I pushed boundaries, but I've learned from it. So if you're a fan of me, please help me show these stands the good I've done with examples. By the way, I streamed on YouTube, Carl, not Twitch when you sniped me. Also, Tryhard has always had negative connotation on Twitch, way before me. Take some accountability. Sorry, man. Okay, no more needs to be said, lol. This shit is childish as fuck. I'm a pretty strong person emotionally, but I feel so drained, isolated, and alone. I haven't felt this bad in years, and the social media game is so fucking dehumanizing. Everything anyone says is for attention and clout. No one has anyone's back, and I can't take it. I'm a person too! I'm just so sick and tired of being everyone's scapegoat and without the Twitch platform to even defend myself. I've been dragged through the mud so many times and I'm tired of it. All of my friends have to fucking console in private because I've been demonized in this industry. It's not right. I've done more self-reflection and change than anyone else in this industry, and people fucking ignore it because it's known I'm just the scapegoat. It's not right! And that's about it for what was said in regards to Carl Jacobs and Ice Poseidon. As for my opinion on this, I think this entire situation just proves that everything Carl does online is just to further his own career, and he will like and support people only when it's beneficial to him. Like for example, him supporting Ice Poseidon just because he was the biggest streamer, and stream sniping him just to get exposure. But when he surpasses Ice Poseidon, Poseidon and gets a little bit of pushback from crazy stands for being associated with him, he will just throw him under the bus immediately because he's afraid of losing a couple followers. But that's just my opinion, I would love to hear your guys' in the comment section below. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, and thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Scrubby who has donated $100 a month. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.